Unattractive people are very needy. They always want something. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> We already rolling? Oh, we're going. And do you have like a, uh, is there like, you know, an intro or is there? What? We already going. You don't do nothing like, hey, this is, welcome to the Funny Marco show. Like, no. No, we already going. <laughs> uh, you handsome. All right. This is it then. Yeah. We in it. Yeah. Well, you don't have an introduction, but let me at least start off by saying, man, I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think uh, yeah, you're talented. I've seen the other interviews that you've done, and you know, do your your don't just say you're doing your you're doing your thing. So, you agree when people say we look alike? What? I mean, yeah, right? Yeah, like we're similar. Well, yeah, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. All subjective, I guess. What do you mean? So, like you. You agree we look just alike. I think as black as black men, no, you know, sometimes we out. get mistaken as, as two black men. Some people be like, oh, I you Kevin Hart. It's people that are getting me confused. I yeah. took pictures and act like, oh, I'll just I'll do it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So like when you do play your movie, yeah. you mind me playing the star of? Of that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening. I think, um, Look, I think that there's a there's a synergy that you can find in similarities, cadences, mannerisms, facial expressions, right? And sometimes those things position what could be deemed as a parallel. So you're trying to tee out me with words? No. What does that mean? I... Like using big words to get me lost. Well, the parallel is a big word to you, then we're in trouble, buddy. We got a long way to go. Uh, so I got here. So why is Soul Plane your favorite movie? Uh, Soul Plane is probably my favorite movie because it's, uh, I think, the second, the second defining movie that that launched me into any type of like uh, success. Soul Plane was the the start. Paper Soldiers and Soul Plane, mm -hmm. two favorite movies. Without those movies, mm -hmm. I don't get an opportunity to do what I'm doing now. Mm. How That's do you why. feel about the people that, you know, bootleg the movie mm. that just got it that bootleg? How do you feel about that? And the time of Paper Soldiers, right after you shot it, what was you doing? The like time, the after time it doing? Went out and it was just going around. What was you doing? What was your lifestyle like? What was my lifestyle like? What well, the time? I mean, I'm, I was a hustling comic, you know? It was all about a comedy club every day, all day. Mm -hmm. I ate, slept, comedy. Mm -hmm. nothing else mattered at the time. So, right. you know, this was a big moment, but it wasn't a life-changing moment. Oh, was you broke? Oh, yeah, I mean. Mm -hmm. Where'd you work? I was a, I was a comedian. So all of my, all of my eggs were in that basket. I didn't, I didn't have multiple mm -hmm. jobs. Like when I chose to do comedy, it was that or nothing else. Mm -hmm. So. And then the uh, 40 year old version scene, when you got that scene, how was that? When you came in, the pawn shop, 40 year old version TV shop. I just want to, by the way, this is not a, a note because I'm here on your platform. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to finish the stuff that we were talking. Like, are we, do we kind of like put a button on some of that stuff or we just leave that, we kind of just leave that un, like, okay. What was I, your I'm favorite stand up special? 40 year old virgin. Yeah, but what when it comes to you did so many special stand ups, what is this? What was your favorite one? Do you want me to answer the 40 year old version question or no? I mean, you're already on stand up now. You've done so many. Which one was the best one? Uh, in my opinion, I'm going to say seriously funny. Mm -hmm. Why? Seriously funny. What got you into working out? Like the fact that you work out mm -hmm. and you got into fitness is very important. Why do you feel like workout is very well, important? I feel like seriously funny was just a defining moment for me that honestly made me really think yeah, about my about body. The workout? And that's why I started working out. Right. Because of the way that I looked on the special. Mm -hmm. 
So you done worked with a lot of people. What was the moment where you was happy to work next to somebody? Like, dang, I'm really working with him. I just don't believe that this question is gonna last, so I'm gonna wait for you to say the question. No, no, I wanna know, because you done worked with a lot of big people. If it was my guess, I'd say The Rock. You would say, why? Because he's the biggest? Like in stature, or? No, just because y'all had a good chemistry. I have a good chemistry with everyone I work with. Yeah, but that one was kind of like a chemistry, like, like a chemistry. What is that? What? What'd you just do? Yeah, what's that? Like, like, fuck with me. Oh, that's your thing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Got it. Um, I would say, you gotta be honest with you, man, me and The Rock, really close. Um, me and Ice Cube, we're far, great relationship. Will Fall. Will what? Will Fall. What about you and him? You said Will Fall? Will Farrell. Farrell. Will Farrell. Tomato, tomorrow. Not in that case. Not in like the movie, not uh, was that was the jail movie, Knocked Up. Knocked Up was not a jail movie, first of all. Knocked Up is a completely different movie. What was the, the jail movie? I did a jail movie when you was going to jail, you had to go to jail, you pretend like you had to help him from stop going to jail. What we'll fall? It was called Get Hard. Oh, wow, yeah, nowhere near Knocked Up. Like, what type of are we doing research or we just kind of no 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 i got that was me i can say that was uh it's so many movies you got that's yeah. a good thing yeah yeah sometimes you forget your movies like oh damn i did that right no no i kind of i kind of know them all how was you in high school how was you in high school how was i in high school yeah um i mean i don't know i think i was a i was a pretty cool kid i never had any problems Mm -hmm. I'm saying like do teachers look back and be like yeah that was him like we seen you we knew you was gonna be famous no I don't think nobody knew that I would become what I am today I think people knew I was a talented good kid I had mm -hmm. a good heart loving kid I was always funny yeah yeah right yeah yeah what else are you looking for there <laughs> uh, you are big on like music you really love music, right? And yes or no? That's the no. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. So, question. Answer this question right now. You will lose everything in the world, and you gotta get this right. Name three Flavor Flav songs. Name three Flavor Flav songs. Yeah, or you lose everything. Okay, well, you would ask me to name three Public Enemy songs. No, I said Flavor Flav. Well, Flavor Flav was a part of a group. Yeah. Exactly, but he got some solos too. I'm not aware of Flavor Flav's solo, solo songs. So if I'm, I'm gonna lose everything, I don't know a Flavor Flav song. Right. Okay. Can you educate me and tell me one? Uh, yeah, boy, the clock is ticking, and the block is hot. You're lying. That's a fucking lie. Yeah, boy is what he said. The clock is ticking has never been a song. You're saying that because he had a clock on. The block is hot is not something that they said back then. He just fucking lied. And it was quick too. Straight face. That's a sickness. Okay. <laughs> what do you uh what do you do on a daily basis? I work, Marco. Yeah. Outside of that. Like what do you do for fun? What do I do for fun? Yeah. Work? Right. I enjoy work. A gift that you bought somebody, that you remember that you bought somebody. Why did you buy it? A gift that I bought somebody. Mm. And the reason behind me No, 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 no. Like, why'd you, why, why you, uh... These are on your notes. Yeah. Okay. 